Yana and James are now husband and wife. James, you may now kiss the bride. here welcome back to our channel a hikmat life we're currently on round two of clomid uh, i've just finished my last set of tablets i was hoping to do a couple more check-ins uh for you guys um but to be honest i just really haven't felt well this round um so to, if you didn't see our trying to conceive uh video number one um the clomiphene didn't work or the clomid didn't work for us i didn't ovulate um, which got me really upset because I just have ovulated every other time on that dosage. So I was actually really shocked that I didn't ovulate. I just didn't expect it at all. I decided to do round two of Clomid. Um, I've done a double dose of 100 milligrams now. Um, and hoping that that will get me ovulating. Um, so because, um, my doctor, he had said to me, that he didn't think I would ovulate. He's like, you're definitely not going to, um, you haven't ovulated. We did a progesterone test to check that. Um, so just start the Clomid whenever you're not likely to get a period because mine are so irregular, like once every six months or something. So, um, yeah, so I decided to start the Clomid, um, on a day that just suited for appointments, like gain my 10 day scan and everything like that. Um, so I started those on Sunday um, and it is now Thursday. This is my last day of the tablets. Uh, I felt just a lot tired, like really, really tired. Just, I just don't feel well. Um, also getting like hot flushes all the time, moody and a lot of hormonal acne. I've covered up with tons of makeup, so you can't really see it, but my skin's really bad right now because of the hormones. Um, but I'm really hoping this round gets me ovulating. Um, I actually did end up getting a period, which is really frustrating because ideally you want to start the Clomid on um, day three of your period. Day three to four of your period is the perfect time to start Clomid with the best results. Um, uh, he did tell me just to start whenever, so I actually started two days before my period, um, so not three days into my cycle. Yeah, so I don't have the best hopes for this round. Uh, I'm hoping I ovulate, but I just don't know that the timing's going to be right. We'll just have to see. So, um, I've got my appointment on Tuesday um, to get a follicle scan and see what will be happening from that. And if I will, uh, if there is a follicle there and yeah, just see the status of that. It might be too early. I don't know. Um, so, I'll keep you tuned, but that's it for yeah, now. I'm just guys. checking in. Um, today is uh, April 2nd and I am heading for my follicle scan um, to see if I have produced a follicle. So hopefully that is positive. I will check in when I've got my results. Uh, but that's where we're off today. I'm super nervous. I'm not feeling very positive. I'm just going to expect not to have um, any follicles and be surprised if I am. Um, so yeah. I'll check in when I get back. Yeah, just checking in on my round two of Clomid uh, video for you guys. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't checked in earlier. It is the 11th of April, so it's been a hot minute since I checked in. Uh, the last update you would have seen, I was heading to my follicle scan to see if there was any follicles. Uh, in my round one, there was nothing there, so I did have to go up to 100 milligrams this round. Um, and there was a follicle! <laughs> uh, we were so excited. Um, there is not one but two follicles, which is insane. I know some people do get multiple uh, follicles on Clomid. I myself have never, I've only ever had one. Uh, so then last round to have none, I was so, so disappointed. I was going into this round just super like, Ugh, it's not going to work. I was just so not excited at all. And because then once I did start the Clomid, I actually got a period and it was kind of like the wrong days to be starting Clomid. But anyway, it worked. I have two follicles. Um, they were at an average size, but 
it was still early in my cycle because I ended up getting that period. So um, he said, you've got a big baby dance window, so take advantage of it. Um, <laughs> we have been doing that and I have a blood test tomorrow. So tomorrow, so today's the 11th of April. On the 12th of April, Friday, I will be going for a blood test to check my progesterone levels to see if I ovulated. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I really just hope I ovulated. I just want those steps in a row. Obviously, if we were pregnant, we were stoked uh, and like super excited and it's hard not to think about it positively, but I'm just so happy that the steps are working this month uh, and I feel a ton better. The 100 milligrams, I wasn't too bad. Um, I've had a couple of bad days and like even afterwards, like after, like during this baby dance period, I've had a lot of cramping and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, I'm excited guys. I'm so excited. I really hope um, that I ovulate this round um, and then that way all the ducks in a row and it's just getting the timing right and waiting to get pregnant. So, um, and yeah, at this stage I won't have to go up to 150 milligrams uh, if this doesn't work and I don't ovulate. Uh, I'll speak to my doctor and see what he thinks, but I think we'd just do 100 again, but we will see. Uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know that's what's been happening. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on my next update. Okay, bye guys. 48. Thank you. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yay, thank God I ovulated. <laughs> okay. I will talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye. <gasps> no! No! Guess what? What? Mummy's egg hatched. It's a baby. <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so close. So close. So, so close. So we have to wait mm -hmm. two weeks. And can I roll? And maybe, mm -hmm. maybe in two weeks there might be a baby in mommy's belly. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, guys. Ah, I'm so excited. Ah. Okay, so I ovulated, which is egg, my egg hatched. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we did enough baby dancing and at the right time we did the baby dance. Um, so we have to wait two weeks. Show them two, two weeks, and either I'll get a period or I'll get a baby.